Imagine students taking pictures of your child using the restroom at school and then blasting them all over social media. Yeah, that's what some angry parents say happened to their special needs children at Fox Lane High School in Bedford, New York. Seven on your side investigative reporter Kristen Thorne has more. Karen Close's son is 18 years old and has autism. She's never really worried about Jonathan being alone without her at school until now. Close recently found out through Jonathan's teacher that boys at Fox Lane High School took pictures of her son going to the bathroom at the urinal at school and then posted them on social media. She was as surprised as I was that we had not been notified because she had formally put the uh, complaint in. Close says the teacher had notified administrators a week prior. The administration never contacted us. Close found out that not only did it happen to her son, but to another boy with special needs. Close says the school told her and the other family that they reviewed surveillance cameras, spoke to the boys who may have been involved, and the students denied any wrongdoing. We discussed it together and decided that, to post the flyers. The two families blasted this flyer out on social media, offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to the people who took the bathroom photos. Within two hours, we had five pictures. And they realized it wasn't just their two boys. There were two other boys with special needs who had also been victims including this man's son. He did not want to be identified. I spoke to him about the situation. He had no recollection of this taking place, didn't know when it took place. But the students who took the pictures, they made it easy for administrators to track them down. The students who took the pictures um, put their faces in the picture. They took a selfie. The families took the pictures to the Bedford Police Department. The next day, the school district sent this letter to the school community saying there had been a disturbing incident at Fox Lane, which violated some students' privacy, and they were taking swift disciplinary action. The students who took the photos were later suspended. If we did not post the flyer and get the evidence, this would have been swept under the rug. We would have never known anything. The Bedford Police Department says they did a full investigation into this and in the end decided not to press charges, mainly because that's not what the victim's families want. Our primary focus is action against the district. But the families are contemplating legal action against the Bedford School District. It's the, um, the failure to protect these children. It's the failure to report it to the families. The school district did not respond to my repeated requests for comment. We know the district hired a third-party investigator to look into the incidents. And